Hey, we're back in live on uh, Facebook, and we're gonna see how this works. Uh, we found a way to get online, and the way it was is Verizon. Verizon's <laughs> one of our sponsors. Oh, here, give me your hand, dear. Yeah. <laughs> boom, boom. Oh, I'm not gonna spousal abuse here. Well, <laughs> I just looked into the Wi-Fi settings, and Verizon has a free Wi-Fi network, and now we are on. Look at that, it's amazing. Thank you, Verizon. I didn't even, uh, and you're a sponsor. So we are inside the, the show right now, and I thought we'd introduce you to somebody Hey, Jennifer and I are here to meet and greet, and uh, tell me who we got here. Uh, you've got Mike Keller, and I'm from Tucson, Arizona, and, uh, and, and decided to come down here and see if we were considering downsizing from a Class A to a Class B. What is your, um, what's making you think you want a Class B? Uh, right now we're focusing on the, was it the Heim? Heimer? The Heimer. Yeah. Heimer and the road track and maybe uh, leisure travel vans. So we're just kind of scoping everything out and see where to go from there. Now, why would you want to uh, downsize from a Class A, great big guy, how, how big is your Class A? Uh, it's about 33 feet. 33, why yes. would you want to downsize to uh, something that's under 25? Uh, well, there's several reasons. One is the, the gas mileage. Uh, enable, it's got more capabilities getting into the back country and uh, it's after a while you just start, you just start just carrying around junk. Yeah. In, in the bigger ones, so we want to get down to the basic necessities and you know make everything simpler and then start doing the the adventures. And you don't have to tow a vehicle behind you. That's a big factor, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. And I might even consider giving up the Honda and just use that as my uh, second, second vehicle. vehicle. Correct. Well, yep. well, Mike, thanks. Mike got uh, his picture taken with uh, Jennifer and me, and we had a great time meeting you from Tucson. Okay. And uh, we love Arizona. So uh, Likewise, and you can take the heat back with you. <laughs> uh, we'll take a little bit. If we go back in Michigan, we'd love it. Well, Mike, okay. thanks. Great right. to meet you. Thank We're going to move on and see what else we can see. Let's go take a walk along, and we'll take everybody over to the uh, road trek display and see what's, uh, what's happening there. Um, we are uh, inside, as I said, the University of uh, Phoenix Stadium and that's in Glendale Arizona and uh, this is also Cardinal Stadium you know what today is my dear it's uh, what is it tell me again draft day draft for the Cardinals. Day. How could I they're having a big party here in the same place All right. now this whole inside the stadium what we're walking right now is where the Cardinals play uh, and they got a, a special floor on uh, they got the, 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 the Astro turf off but uh, this is where all those plays are and it's now filled with uh, uh, small RVs, Class B and small, Class C, Class B. We're just passing. This is the Winnebago display, and we're going to walk you through. Thank you again, Verizon, for uh, having this network. I was using the cell phone network, and it didn't work, so that's why we were outside in the first report. And now we're here, and uh, everything's going great. Now, I want to remind everybody, when you see words on the signs, they're backwards. That's a limitation of the face-fronting camera on uh, Facebook Live. This actually says road trek <laughs> it's just backwards and we are now in the uh, road trek display where they have uh, just about everything where is this show it's uh, as i said uh, i just answered that uh, tony but if you just tuned in it's in glendale arizona at the uh, rv uh, uh it's an rv super show hey they moved the our picture Why don't you show, them the show them the zion now we got jim hamill coming oh look at this they moved this okay when we first came in when we came first came in this was the sign that was up there. Okay, can you see that? That's us. We felt really pretty special. Okay, so somebody has now moved it around the boss is coming. because the boss is coming. <laughs> they got Jim Hamill. You know, he's not even here yet. And they, they put us so nobody can see us in the back, but hey, that's all right. <laughs> We're gonna show you some of the other uh, vehicles here. This is the Zion. This is on the Ram 2500 Promaster chassis. Uh, this is there's a couple of these here these have been really popular vehicles this is uh, a darker colored one Jennifer you like this one don't you yeah I do yeah bathroom bathroom is right up front as you come to come through walk in there's your bathroom yeah refrigerator adequate big refrigerator I think that's over six cubic feet real nice storage pantry storage That is that nice big refrigerator. Now we have the same size in our CSC Ventures. Oh, there's a, a freezer. freezer. That's a little, little freezer. smaller freezer. Boy, well, you can get a lot of stuff in that uh, refrigerator, can't you? Mm -hmm. This is the Zion again, a big storage uh, part. 
equipment there for you. Pretty neat. Let's walk out and show around some of the other things. They have one of every different type of road track, I think, except those on the Chevy platform here. Now, the show uh, technically opens today. Most people will be coming here uh, later after work and, of course, all weekend long. So if you are anywhere in the southwest, we invite you to, to come and say hello to everybody. Uh, let's see, Joe, why is everything backwards? <laughs> Well, we get that question about every two minutes. The reason why is Facebook. Facebook has a glitch. When you go on Facebook Live, it reverses the image and you're using the front facing camera. So thank you, Facebook, for that. So if we had two cameras? No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, uh, yeah, it, it always goes that way. And it's just, it's just kind of weird. Uh, let's see if we can straighten things around here. All right, now, that is not backwards, right? Will somebody come online and tell me that if they see everything correct? You're not seeing it. That is the front-facing camera. So we'll get our ugly mugs off and just show you here this display. And you can see that it's it's showing things right. Correct? So those of you who are on, let me see your, uh, your notes. Just say, yeah, it's not backwards anymore. <laughs> and then I can know. So this is where we happen to be set up. The uh, RVs that are on display here, both from Road Track, from Winnebago, from Leisure Travel Vans, from Tiffin, are all, um, oh good, thank you Joe, the video's good, are all uh, on the lot and being sold by uh, La Mesa RV. They happen to be Road Trek's largest single dealer. Here's something we want to show you. This is the new Heimer uh, towing trailer. This is a really nice trailer. And you see this thing, this is brand new, it's European style, it's got a little pop top there. It's really crisp and clean, but look at what it weighs. Look at the weight of this thing. Do you realize that you can pull that with just about any vehicle that you have? Is that cool? And then here's the inside of this little trailer. You can see a nice little dinette to eat. Uh, that's, the, uh, that's the bathroom right here. And we'll let the, you can see it's a full-fledged little bathroom right there. Nice bathroom. Uh, you really have got everything you, you need right there. And then there's a sleeping area in the back, and here's your cooking area. Uh, and it's got this nice little pop-up. Now remember that from the old uh, VW camper days? This is sort of that European style. And this is, by the way, a shower. And the shower works uh, up in here. Uh, you've got a, a shower attachment that you can take apart and you can get a little extra screening on it. So it's uh, it's pretty neat. Uh, I just showed you that weight because so Joe is asking about the weight, but let me go back and redo the, the weight for you. There it is. You see that? 1986. 1986 pounds. Under 2,000. That is pretty amazing. And it uh, can be towed by just about any kind of vehicle you want. The price markdown, list price, and then uh, what the yeah. price is at the show. Because you always get better prices at a show. Yeah, you know, we talk about RV shows, why you should go to them. Because you can get a deal. For example, this is the new Simplicity SRT from Road Trek. It lists for 80000 And if you are here today at this show on this weekend, you can get this thing for 68000 So those are really good prices. And uh, it's like this on all of the vehicles that they have here. And uh, we are just uh, amazed at, at uh, the pricing on it. Now, um, that is that uh, Heimer towing, uh, touring trailer that they have. It weighs about 1,900 pounds. You can tow that with any vehicle that you have, just about. But they happen to have it showed up with the brand new Heimer Class B uh, motorhome. And this has been, uh, Road Trek has been selling this. How you doing? <laughs> and uh, you guys are enjoying the, uh, the comfort there, huh? Yeah, we're just camping out. You're camping out at the show. That's it's good. Like no sofa in here. Yeah, there is no sofa. Different. We should show them this. This is the, the, the Heimer. Nice we'll come back. Comfortable in there? It's great. Yeah. But you see that bed yeah. back there? That is, a, look how thick that mattress is. Isn't that nice? Memory yeah. foam. It's a, yeah, it's a memory foam. And uh, it's pretty cool. I don't know the price on the trailer. Do you know, anybody know the price on the trailer? The tow behind? No, not yet. I don't think they know. You see, I think they're still, I don't think, I don't know if they're even selling these at this point because they're, uh, they're brand new. And they're really more uh, demonstrating this as uh, this is what they're about ready. Road Trek's actually building, I think, a new factory. This one's 89.5. Yeah, the active is 89. What's the trailer, though? That's not for sale yet. Yeah, see, it's not for sale yet. They're actually building those right now. Road Trek's got a new factory that they're about ready to start producing those. But they're just showing you the possibilities, and uh, it's, it's pretty stunning. 
Uh, so the, you can see that this is kind of fun to be inside the stadium like this, and you realize, you know, that this is where Jimmy Consulman and Pat Tillman and, uh, you know, uh, Patty Driscoll and Roy Green and, and uh, Dick Knight Train Lane, they all, they all played here. And uh, right now it is all uh, RVs, and this is pretty neat, pretty darn neat. Uh, Joe asked, will you be at the Hershey Show this year? Are we going to be at the Hershey? We hope to. I like Hershey. Yeah, Hershey is like the America's largest RV show. We always are there. I hope we're there. And we'll be there. And we're going to be here uh, tomorrow at noon and Saturday at noon. Jim Hamill will be here tomorrow, and we'll try and talk to him and learn some of the plans. We also want to talk about some of the uh, technological innovation, and uh, we want to show you some of the other RVs. You can see, isn't this nice? You can just go in every single one of these. Every single one, and you can... Uh, we need you can, to find out how many are in here. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. Uh, Jenny just tuned in, wants again to know where the show is. This is in Glendale, Arizona, outside of Phoenix. And we are at the uh, Cardinals Stadium, or the University of Phoenix Stadium, as it's officially known. But this is where the Arizona Cardinals play. Now, we've been showing you the road track display. They will have seminars here uh, every day of the show that lasts until Sunday. And among other things, they're going to talk about this. This is Road Trek's innovative new eco trek technology, and they're going to talk about how all of this works. Uh, there's a solar panel there. Our friend Jan Seiner uh, at 2 o'clock will be doing this, and he'll be uh, demonstrating it. But it shows you how this whole battery system works, uh, how this inverter works. This is a massive inverter. Uh, the controllers that you have for it, you can't really get a good screenshot there of that. Uh, but this, Jan does a really good job of explaining where this technology okay, is heading. Friday. And there's this uh, seminars that are coming up. Friday and Saturday, 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Uh, Jenny Green wants to know, coming anywhere south? Well, no, I don't think so. This is kind of a unique show. They do this every year, and they do it uh, uh, about this time of year. This is the second year in a row. About 2,500 people will come through here. Now, it's not just road trek. Uh, you can see there's Leisure Travel Van is here, Thor Motor Coach is here. You can just see all of the, the, the RVs that are on here. We're kind of, Winnebago is here, of course, Road Trek and Heimer are here. My asking how many RVs are in this building or this football stadium inspired somebody to say they should have a contest and have a prize that people can guess. You know, like kind of how many jelly beans or something are in a jar. Yeah. So maybe how many I RVs something. do they, do how they many pull RVs in here? Are in here? Yep, and it's uh, the best part about this show is it is absolutely free. Uh, there's uh, there's no charge at all, and there's no charge of working. And uh, actually, Jim Heimer, Jim Hamill is walking up as we speak now, and uh, he probably will walk on right on past this here. But uh, he's been uh, he's just arrived. He is the uh, president and the CEO of uh, of the Irwin Heimer Group, and we'll uh, With we'll a see if we can three in turn. Yeah. So is this your security squad? Talking about the hockey players who are going to repel in. These are the hockey players. <laughs> These are my hockey players. From yeah. Canada. Well, welcome, Jim. Actually, you came just as we're live, and uh, we have just been sure. showing. Isn't this great? Show it always is. This is our second time around. Our first one in 20 minutes had 11 had a reach of 11,000. So the Facebook is like a TV network. Hey, um, I don't want to put you on the spot, but somebody just asked us a while ago about that active trailer. Tell us when that's uh, expected to be on the, the market. Touring trailer. The touring trailer. Not the one that the yeah the active is on is hooking up. The uh, the um, Heimer touring trailer. I would say 60 days from now you'll see the first one start to flow to market. Yeah, they are uh, really nice. And then uh, uh, Jenny, you're just ask us a question here. Uh, rough ballpark pricing on those? Do we know yet? Have they been set? Uh, MSRP pricing runs uh, between twenty three thousand and thirty thousand, depending on how how you equip them, right? Right, and that's always the case on all of them. And as we looked at this show, some mighty good deals on all of all the the uh, vehicles that we're seeing. Uh, are you uh, Rotex building a new factory, right? Where uh, Heimer's building a new factory? What can you tell us about that? We're right in the middle of it. The van factory is uh, that we have on Surly Drive in Kitchener is not changing. It's still going to be the van factory. Uh, the newer products like the touring trailers and some other new products that we might come out with in North America are being built in a new factory um, and we've been spending a lot of time we took possession of the building and and did a complete end-to-end -end renovation of a, of a only 12 year old factory about 250,000 square feet wow. very big um, 
and it's just beautiful. In fact, I'll, I'll maybe give you guys some pictures to, to show people. We'd love, we'd love okay. to see it. Well, we're going to catch up with you at noon tomorrow and noon on uh, Saturday. If, if you're still here, we want to. We've got lots of pe people have been asking questions. Ask him if he needs me to drive one and show it all over the country. Says Jenny Moore. And, uh, I might hear that question a few times. You might. Uh, how do I find out where Class B shows will be held in the Midwest? Well, Leslie, uh, this one has been so popular that I bet other people are going to pick up and copy it because uh, these are There's this where the lots of good shows. Yeah. Just well, welcome. Call, call Road Trek. Call Road Trek. They'll do it. Welcome to Arizona. Okay. Thanks. Uh, and, Thanks, guys. And these guys, by the way, we should point out. Do you guys play hockey? Absolutely. These guys all, they're all are Canadian. Canadian hockey players. <laughs> That's great. They're here. They're my muscle. The yeah, these they're guys are muscle. interns, right? They're interns. Yeah. yeah. Correct. Well, yeah. welcome, welcome. This uh, you're gonna have a lot of fun here, so Absolutely. enjoy it. Thanks, Jim. Appreciate it. All right, there's Jim, and uh, this was our second uh, one of these. We're gonna come back and now uh, make everything backwards because you see just the two of us here. But uh, that was fun. It's good to run into Jim. Well, I think those good-looking young hockey players oh, might get some of the females here. <laughs> well. Yeah, I suppose so. That will do it every time. Won't it? A little beefcake, right? Uh, all right. Hey, listen, everybody. Thanks a lot. Uh, for those of you who are subscribers to our uh, YouTube channel, our RV Lifestyle channel, we're going to go try and do a live video in just a couple minutes over there. So uh, I would love to know, as we're experiencing, doing, everybody seems to love these live things that we do and a lot of the questions. So we're going to go try it and see how that works. And if you are watching this, would you uh, do us a favor? Somebody's calling me. Find that call. Would you do us a favor if you can get over to uh, the uh, if you can get over to the uh, YouTube RV, Mike and Jennifer's YouTube RV Lifestyle channel? You can find it there. We're going to come on live, and I'd love to know the differences that you might see in the videos. All right, we got a lot of stuff to go check out. All right, all right. We're Mike. I'm Mike. This is Jennifer, <laughs> and uh, we thank you guys for joining us. We'll be back on Facebook Live right here on the Road Trekking page at noon Friday and noon Saturday. And uh, we appreciate all of you tuning in. Bye-bye.